and welcome you all to New York Creates Albany Nanotech, a complex of about 1.6 million square feet of world-class fabrication, lab, and office space, and serves as North America's largest and most advanced nonprofit open access semiconductor research and development facility. As was mentioned, I'm Dave Anderson, president of New York Creates, and it's a special honor for me today to host Governor Hochul and their royal majesties from the kingdom of the Netherlands as we set the stage today for additional Dutch-American cooperation. Based on the great conversations that took place throughout the day and discussions with the business delegation, there seems to be significant opportunities for future collaborations between the U.S. and, and the Netherlands. Governor, thank you for being here today. Your support of the industry is unsurpassed and your vision for the future of the state of New York will ensure that this state is a global leader in the semiconductor industry for decades to come. We at New York Creates are proud to play a central role, continuing to build state-of-the-art infrastructure and critical partnerships, such as those we have with Dutch companies ASM, and of course ASML, whose new high-NA EUV equipment is the cornerstone of our new facility currently under construction. This is a testament to the power of our growing New York State ecosystem and the leadership of our governor. So please join me in welcoming the governor of the great state of New York, Kathy Hochul. Good afternoon. This has been a spectacular day. We are so proud to host the Royal Magistries, and they have been just incredible representat representatives of their beloved country. We're delighted to have you here and look forward to deepening our relationship. Also, uh, Dave, we've had many great announcements here. You, every time I walk in the door, I think it's another billion dollars. I've got to stop that. I just can't do a billion every time I see you, but, uh, but, but, we're, but we're pretty close, right? Uh, it is absolutely an honor to be here. And also, I'm so proud to show off this facility. This is something that we're enormously proud of, and I want to thank you and all of our partners, our Dutch companies who are synonymous with this facility, and one of the reasons why we've invested so much money. And so I want to thank the individuals. I want to thank Dave, first of all. I also want to acknowledge uh, Hope Knight, who's the president and CEO of uh, Empire State Development, who really funds many of these products, has the vision for it, but also uh, my partner in government. Uh, our Lieutenant Governor, former member of Congress, it was someone was asking what you used to do, he's a member of Congress, but we gave him a get out of, well, I won't say that. <laughs> we we uh, look forward to continuing work with uh, Antonio Degadas. Let's give him a round of applause as well. You know, beyond our cultural ties, New York and the Netherlands are both committed to leading on semiconductors. Full stop. I mean, this is our space. and. These invisible chips power everything from the cell phone in your pocket to the car in your driveway to the refrigerator in your kitchen. And we believe, we have a deep felt belief that our countries, New York, well, New York's not a country, our state, our state and the Netherlands can really power the future and create a semiconductor renaissance that the rest of the world will follow. And in so doing, the governments must also incentivize innovation and aggressively pursue companies working at the vanguard of the semiconductor industry. That's exactly what we did not long ago here in the state of New York. That is the genius behind our $10 billion green chips initiative that we enacted with our state legislature. That is the program that coupled with federal resources under the leadership of President Biden and Majority Leader Schumer, we were able to harness their resources with our $10 billion to be a magnet for companies from all over. And as a result, we landed Micron, the largest economic development deal in American history just a short time ago. That's 50,000 jobs and many, many more opportunities coming right here to our beloved state. To lead the way, we must, that's, that deserves a round of applause. We had a conversation a short time ago at a round table at the governor's residence. Great participation. We talked about the need also for talent. How do you build the talent pipeline? And so we, we understand that government has a role in assisting companies 
meet those objectives. We've launched the Office of Strategic Workforce Development. We're investing tens of millions of dollars to prepare our state university system and our younger children from kindergarten on through age uh, grade 12. Prepare them for the high-tech jobs of the future, investing in STEM education. We also have to look beyond the bounds of our state and our nation, even this continent, to build new partnerships. And that's exactly what we're doing to take this to greater heights. Six months ago, we unveiled an historic $10 billion partnership that will establish New York Creates Albany Nanotech as one of the most advanced semiconductor research and, research and development facilities in America, in North America. And what was the key to that? A Dutch company. A Dutch company helped us make that happen. See, Albany Nanotech will soon be home to one of the rarest and most sophisticated chip-making tools on the planet. We love doing things like that. We'll actually be the first publicly owned research center in the world, and that's second to no one. There's only one business that makes this incredible product. A Netherlands-based lithography company called ASML. I've been here many times. I've met the leadership. I've met people from this company. ASM and ASML are extraordinary. Their next generation machine, which is the size of a bus and costs hundreds of million dollars, will be the centerpiece of a new state-of-the-art lab that we'll build right next door. It's already underway, right, Dave? The dirt's been dug a little bit? OK, we're moving ahead. I need, I need to see some movement there. That's great. In this lab, the industry giants who operate in New York Micron, IBM, Applied Materials, Tokyo Electron, they'll be able to harness the most advanced chip making equipment ever made. They'll use it to design chips that are even smaller and more powerful than those currently on the market, supercharging the electronics of the future. None of this would be possible without the global semiconductor ecosystem that New York Creates has intentionally worked to foster. And that's what we're building on today. In a few moments, I'll sign an MOU with our minister that cements the partnership between New York and the Netherlands, two of the world's preeminent semiconductor ecosystems. It will allow for free-flowing exchange of ideas and best practices as we work together to move this industry forward. This is something that the delegations have been discussing at our Semicon Forum. And the questions arise, how do we make even smaller, faster chips, we always want to be the best. How do we build the best workforce to power this industry for the next 50 years? And how do we build a chip economy that prioritizes sustainability? These are some of the issues we'll tackle together. This partnership also unlocks exciting opportunities for academic collaboration between New York and Dutch universities. And it starts this summer when five State University of New York students We'll head to the Netherlands for an intensive summer program on semiconductors and photonics. So we don't have to say it, but we know it. New York became what it is because of the Dutch. Their willingness to explore new worlds, to go into the unknown. It is that risk-taking gene that has been passed on to all the people who claim Dutch heritage today. That is what drives you. We have that same sense here in the state of New York. This is a state of unlimited possibilities and exceptionalism. But it all started 400 years ago when someone with tremendous courage and a willingness to go into the unknown and chart new waters to come up what is what's now called the Hudson River and to make New York state the powerhouse that it is. So we don't forget that. From Dutch origin city names like Brooklyn and Rensselaer to our beloved New York Knicks, got very far this year. It was a good year. Uh, they got their name from early Dutch, from names, from pants known, uh, worn by Dutch settlers. And one of our founding fathers, Alexander Hamilton, married a Dutch-American socialite, Elizabeth Schuyler, just a few minutes from where we stand today. But we're proving today that this bond is not just talking about the past. It's not just history. It's also about where we're going together into the future. It's about groundbreaking work happening right here, right now, that will change the way we live for the next 400 years. And solidifying a partnership that will set the stage for generations of innovation and position New York and the Netherlands, as I said, as global leaders. So I'm honored to introduce our next speaker, someone who's been so instrumental 
in forming this new partnership between two governments, the Dutch Minister of Foreign Trade and Development Corporate Corporation, Lisa, Leslie Scheinemaker, right? Scheinemaker? Got it, got it. There we go. <laughs> Minister, welcome to the podium. Your Majesties, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, delighted to be here, honored to be here. And a big thank you to Governor Hogel for your kind words and being present here with us today. And I'd like to extend a warm welcome to our Dutch companies and the representatives of our Dutch companies, of the Dutch semiconductor and the photonics industry. And let me give a special shout out to New York State and its business community for building such a thriving and innovative semiconductor system. I think Governor Hogel said it well, the US and the Netherlands are global leaders when it comes to semiconductors and integrated photonics development. An achievement that we can be proud of. So we need to keep working hard to stay ahead and to enhance investment in more reliant supply chains that will decrease our vulnerabilities and give us more independence from third countries. We have the world's best companies, the smartest engineers and the brightest researchers. But we also need a cohesive network of people working together to make the most of their talents. That's why I'm delighted that New York State and the Netherlands are now taking their partnership to the next level. This MOU will not only help us enhance research and development in the field of cutting-edge semiconductors, this MOU will also help us explore the sustainable design and production of semiconductors to meet our climate goals. And this MOU will also help us promote new opportunities for joint workforce development within the semiconductor supply chains. In short, we're joining forces not just to maintain our technological lead, but to pave way for more innovation, more jobs, and more business opportunities. And that, in turn, will help solve the challenges of our time and lead to a healthy, healthier and more prosperous and more sustainable society. It's an honor to sign this agreement with you, and I can't wait to see the first results. Thank you. At this time, our dignitaries will join on stage to sign the Memorandum of Understanding between the Kingdom of the Netherlands and New York State. Please welcome Hope Knight, President, CEO, and Commissioner of Empire State Development, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado, His Majesty, King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands, Her Majesty, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, and Governor Kathy Hochul. His Majesty King Willem Alexander will now close today's program. <laughs> In a moment. His Majesty King Willem Alexander will now close today's program. Governor Hogel, ladies and gentlemen, to Queen Maxima and myself, this feels a bit like coming home, because the can-do mentality here at NY Creates reminds us strongly of the Netherlands. It's fascinating to see how, here in Albany, you have developed a fertile ecosystem for groundbreaking innovation. This city is not only one of America's primary technology center, but one of the world's, too. This is the result of many decades of hard work 
but above all, it's the result of joining forces, of pulling together the brightest people, the best facilities, and the boldest ideas. In the Netherlands, you can see the same dynamic spirit, driven by the same connections between big business, startups, and research institutions. Those connections are our greatest strength. So it is fantastic to see our leading centers of nanotechnology and semiconductors working to enhance their ties even further. The United States and the Netherlands are a perfect match. They've been here for years. Not everybody realized this, but our country is the second largest foreign investor in the US. And here in New York State alone, our trade and investment relations account for 57,000 jobs. But our relationship is about much more than the economy. We're also partners in the search for solutions to the great challenges of our time, from climate change to the energy transition to, to affordable health care for all. And for all these reasons, our ties of cooperations are of key importance. And therefore, I wish you all every success and may this memorandum of understanding bear fruit for the future. Thank you very, very much. That concludes today's speaking program. We ask that you please remain in your designated program spaces as we conclude today's event. Thank you.